tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a uniform constant edge field or magnetic field for your design. That field can be used as a boundary condition or an initial condition for your design that you are analyzing. Um, what we are going to achieve at the end of this tutorial is a, a field, a uniform field like this that you can see here all the values are at one um, ampere per meter and uh, in this field or in this box that I have I have a uniform magnetic field going around all the points of the boxes that would be great if I want to test some um, devices that I have and I want to see what will happen if I have a uniform magnetic field applying to that you can change the value of this magnetic field as soon as you want it's very easy to do that and I will show you how to create and change the value of that um, one thing that I have to uh, mention is there are two ways to achieve such magnetic fields uniform magnetic field the easier way and the most more perfect way is with a solution type of magnetostatic. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve that in a magnetostatic type of simulations. You can achieve, uh, you can basically reach to this point by clicking on Maxwell 3D and then click on the solution type. Okay, so let's start creating uh, first uh, a box that we're, we are going to actually uh, emulate inside that uh, all this uniform magnetic field. Uh, I'm going to create a box by clicking the box button and um, sorry I think I have to go to um, I am already on XY so it should be fine. Uh, let's do it one more time. Okay so let's say the box is this high and that's the altitude. So we have the height and x and y. You can you can put whatever height or um, uh, basically distance you want. So what you do is you select F. Sorry, press F uh, in your uh, keyboard, and in, in that case, you will always select the faces. Select the faces in the perimeter of this uh, box that you have in order to create. Um, the, the magnetic fields going from the top to the bottom, like this. So uh, first, let's select the first one. You right click on that and you say, I want to have a boundary condition uh, in the type of tangential edge field. So uh, what we'll give you here is the Maxwell will ask you, okay, I'm going to give you a tangential edge field to this box, to this face, I'm sorry. So this, this is selected face. Um, because it's a face, it will get, ask you for two parameters, x and y. So you can define a vector for your edge field that is going to be tangential to this uh, face um, using x and v vectors. But because you can uh, define your u vector right there, um, it doesn't mean actually to me, it doesn't mean it's not necessary to define v, because your u, your v vector can be any directions that you want, and therefore you don't need to have a v vector for that. So uh, basically, what I'm going to say is you do not need to put any value for the v vector here. You always put it zero, so the v units of the uh, of your vector. So always put it zero, and you can just define the u, and then from that you can uh, uh, basically define the coordinate system. Them, uh, uh, for the U. So everything will be fine after that. So let's go ahead and create our first um, uh, tangential field. Uh, I'm going to make, instead of putting a value of 1 or 2 or uh, whatever value, I want to put a variable H, for example, or H in uh, put. Okay, so H input, so this is the input value of our H that I'm going to apply to my design. Um, so as soon as I go and try to define my vector, it will ask me, uh, hold on a minute, what is H input represents and what's the value of that? We say, okay, it represents a magnetic field of the unit of ampere per meter, so it's basically current per length. Sorry, capacitance. Uh, current per length, so ampere per meter, and the value can be whatever you want. We can go for like 10, let's say, okay? And I press OK. Now it asks you what is the, the direction of 
your U field. So I can say whatever direction I want. I'm going to go and say the direction of my U field is the opposite of the direction of Z. So I just click first and then I go and do another click uh, where my, my basically, or you can actually hold the Z button and then it will always go in the Z direction. So let's say here. Okay, so it's now defined and as you, can, as you can see here, we have the red U and we have the blue V here. Okay, so it's all defined. I'm going to press OK for this one. Now you have to do the same thing for the other face as well if you want to get a very good result. Uh, if you don't do that, you will still get a good result um, by like defining two uh, side by side. Uh, you know faces but I uh, recommend you to do the same thing for all the different all, all four faces to make sure that your uh, uh, basically field is uh, is well defined okay uh, one other thing that you can do at this uh, point is if you change the plane to Z and Y so now it's easier to define uh, the vectors you don't need to press and hold the Z key anymore so let me define okay although it mm, kinda needs you to still do that so and that should be the last boundary excitation that you need to do. So H input and uh, the vector goes here. Oh, one other way that you can do is press tab on DX on the bottom, as you can see. You can press zero, DY press zero, and D DZ just place whatever number that's okay and then you define it all the way on the opposite uh, direction of Z okay so these are as I am going to again display uh, explain it these are the definition of the vectors U that we needed to do because we are going to define a magnetic field on this face with a vector with a U and V units the V units is zero already and the U units has a magnitude of H input but the direction of the U units each time you just select here and define it okay press OK on that so now if you go to your Maxwell and if you go to uh, basically the boundaries you can see that you have uh, all these boundaries I pressed the Z and basically went into the name of that that's okay so you have uh, all these different faces selected let me just make it in a better solution so you can see that all the faces are being uh, non tangential so now there are two things that you want to do one is so these are all the tangential faces that you already defined now I want to define that I want to have two face and I'm pressing and holding the control key and when I select the wrong face I just press B it will go on the back of the face that I selected and it makes it the right selection so I'm going to select the top and the bottom faces and then I'm going to right click on that and say these faces are supposed to be zero tangential edge field meaning that the edge field will be perpendicular to this uh, to these faces so as you can see uh, the edge field is perpendicular to the top and the bottom and it's tangential to all the side uh, faces therefore we should expect to have a um, edge field that is going to be right on uh, z direction uh, opposite of z direction basically so let's see if it's true we go on the analysis and we add an analysis uh, we check the design and then we run the design And now I'm pressing O to select all the objects, which is in this case only a box. And I'm going to go to the fields 
and then I go to the edge and then I go to the edge vector and basically say I want to draw this on all objects inside the edge vector so it gives me this uh, figure that needs a bit of modification to be able to be to see uh, better what's going on inside so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go to the plot and in the vector plot change the maximum spacing from point 0.1 something to point 0.3 for example and uh, it gives me a better, better uh, result. I'm going to make the uh, vectors a bit larger and voila you have your fields that is perfectly uh, aligned and is constant value and you can see we put the edge in put equals to 10 if you remember so it is exactly 10 if you can see here it's 1.000 times e to the power 1 which is 10 okay perfect so this basically shows how you can uh, get a perfect uh, uniform magnetic field and if you maybe I make it a bit larger so you can see better Alright, that's better. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. If you have any designs or any problems with your designs that you want to get fixed, you can actually email me um, to my email, as I said in the introduction video, and uh, I can actually help you with the designs that you have. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this and. Uh, and get what you wanted to know. Uh, I will come back with another tutorial about how to make that in the transient uh, simulation with a different method and uh, we will uh, basically uh, see which one is better. You can use the, the one that is better. Have a great day.